Hello people! Today, we are going to be doing the How to Beat Hildeberg. Now Hildeberg, she is the hardest person to beat in the entirety of Inkwala 1, in my opinion. And um, because it, she honestly makes cat incarnation look like, look like baby food, you could say. But, the reason why she's so hard is that she's the first airport level in the game. So you're not really used to the feeling yet, you know? So, before we get in, preparation. There's really, like, no preparation you can do. It doesn't matter what you have, because there's nothing that works with the airplane at the point. So, that's kind of disappointing. Anyways, so... The first fight... So, you want to watch out for her laughs. You don't want to exactly follow her path or else you'll get hit with the laugh. Carry the bolts when you can. When she does that, get in one of the corners. And the constellation that she's in depends on makes um, her different character. Now, if she stops moving as the bowl, you want to um, you want to get out of the way like immediately. Okay. Now, sometimes she just for a tricky one last thing. Okay, this phase, she all of a sudden has a tornado attack. So that's fun. And what you want to do is just try to juke it as best as you can in small mode. You can get that by dashing. And this one can either be Arrow or the Twins. Now I got the Twins, and the Twins are much easier than the Arrow. So we're just going to keep on firing. And then, see, this they're much easier. Right, right, right. So I'm actually doing really good for game one. Okay, you keep going, keep going, keep going. And then you just follow her tracks. Uh, dodge the tornado when you can. Dodge the shots. Oh my god. This is... I'm focusing so hard right now. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. I recommend using the super here. Because it kind of messes up her character. Right, here we go, here we go. For this part, many people know, but when she pops her head out, you use your X attack. Because I will make her go through an entire body. You want to kind of juke out the UFOs. Oh my god. See? She's so hard. She's so hard. But I think there's a difference between the red and the gold ones. Because the gold ones will do it, will activate their beam early, and the red ones will activate it when they're right on top of you. So this just takes a lot of focus and attention to beat. You just need to keep a close eye on Hildeberg at all times. Like, okay, when she stops, there, there, there. And then when she stops again, see, like that. Now it's gonna go for one more quick one. There we go. That should be it, yep. Alright, now her pattern is pretty easy to memorize once you got it down. You just wanna don't always be in her way. You know? And if you need to, you could use your X attack as like invincibility. Like she's that hard. Now this is the bow guy. And the bow guy isn't exactly as good to fight because it's not the arrow itself, it's the stars that come out of the arrow. Because like they'll always hit you. And it's stupid. Okay, okay, don't try that. Mm. I wouldn't want to have my X attack for the moon when it comes out. Okay, so when this happens, you can see it's getting darker and darker. There we go, there we go. Okay. Okay, you also want to watch out for those stars. Because it can be fast, slow. Something in between. Okay, so like the red ones, you want to juke them out. One, what? Oh, a star. And yeah, those guys. <laughs> star! Are we in? Okay. I will not stop until I get them. But you guys. You guys. For you guys. I will beat her. See, I'm like. I wouldn't say I'm a seasoned pro. Because airplane levels are. Knowing, or what's the word? They're famously hard. Whether it's, um, 
What are it? Stop the cows robots. Um it's what else are there? Oh, did you mean the great? Yeah, those are really the only two other than Hildeberg that are really hard. Alright, we got this. Oh, crap, see? And see, she started up the tornado, so I use this for invincibility problems. And please, 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 yes, yes, this is luck. This is all luck. This is all luck. Boom. Okay, I was gonna start. I was gonna start. Okay, okay, I have time. Let's chill around here. Okay. No, no, no. Oh. She has weaponized laughs. Crap. Come on. Watch out. Okay, I'm at the point. Oh! Okay. Good damage, good damage. Watch out for the stars. Alright, you will photos, you will photos, you will photos. Check that one out. Keep that one out. Keep that one out. Stars are stick. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Come on, I got this, I got this, I got this. Come on. Just die already. Yes, 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 yes. You see, I already beat her, and I'm so excited, because she is so hard. She's so hard. Nick. I'm just... I am... I'm... I'm... So... I'm happy, you could say. I'm with Cuphead right now. That was... that was so... So hard. But that's basically Hildeberg. I don't even know how I beat her. I just got really lucky. If you get the air up person, that is good, but like not. But eh, you take what you can take. That's that has a lot of chance to it. I'll say that. But next time, um I'll probably do something on the Inquil Isle too, because the root pack and Goopy the Grand they're pretty simple. I mean, you just need to trace around, and he sure is good for the root pack. And, yeah. Oh, also, when you when you beat Hildeberg, you get these ironically useless stairs. Because you can just take the secret pathway. And it's stupid. It's like, it's like, congratulations! You want absolutely nothing! It's so stupid. But, you can relish your victory, and just sit down and contemplate life. But, that's gonna be it for this episode. Um, I hope this helped you out, any beginners who are trying to beat Hildeberg. Um, in Inkwell Out 2, I've heard that a lot of people are difficult with Beppy the Clown. And, I, I could do him, not the Jimmy. I had problems with the Jimmy. But I'll probably do Beppy. Before we go, I want to see this. Because this guy can tell me the amount of deaths I've had. For all your battles and all my rhymes, you have failed and perished. 595 times. I want to see what happens when you reach 666. The devil's number. Anyways, that's going to be it for this cool awful video. Hope you enjoyed it. And bye.